Previously on, what the media won't tell you about King Charles III. On September 8, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II's reign ended, and upon her last breath, her eldest son, King Charles III's reign began. On September 9th, 10 days of national mourning started for the Queen, and her funeral is projected to be the most watched event in human history. And hey, listen, respectfully, respectfully RIP and all that. I'm not British, I'm American, and I'm a realist. So I'm here to tell you everything about King Charles III that the media won't. Because I assure you, even if you're not under the shadow of the crown, his rule will still affect you. And after you hear what I'm about to say, I want you to tell me something. Should this guy have the ability to shape policies across the world? Should he even be taken seriously? Here's what the media won't tell you about King Charles III. So now we will bridge the gap between past and present, which I will adorn with this cute little picture of a Rothschild poking the chest of King Charles III like he owns him. And he probably does. We've all heard about the Great Reset by now. The World Economic Forum described the Great Reset as, quote, an economic recovery plan drawn up by the World Economic Forum in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, end quote. They've got those witchy one-liners like, you'll own nothing and be happy. The whole live in a pod, eat the bugs mantra. But the media has gaslit everyone who questioned it, calling them conspiracy theorists. But did you know that it was actually Charles's Twitter account who marked the launch of the Great Reset? They even had like a cute little graphic for his quote, as we move from the rescue to recovery from COVID-19, therefore we have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. We must use all the leaders we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play." End quote. His Twitter account even tagged the World Economic Forum. Since 2020, Charles has regularly promoted the Great Reset and the World Economic Forum's globalist agenda. The Transnational Institute has referred to the WF's Great Reset as a silent global coup d'etat to capture world dominance. People like Charles promote these agendas through what they label as philanthropy and altruism. So just so we're clear, the Great Reset wasn't launched by Bill Gates or Klaus Schwab or Fauci or Stacey Abrams or whoever. It was launched by Charles, Prince of Wales at the time. Problem, reaction, solution, every single time. Problem, COVID pandemic and forced lockdown. Reaction, economic instability worldwide. Solution, the Great Reset. The Great Reset priorities include a fourth industrial revolution of automation, further merging technology and humanity, track, trace, and resolve for products on the blockchain, track and trace being a phrase that became popularized through lockdowns and surveillance of individuals to quote, stop the spread, furthering the go green initiatives, which sound fine on paper, but it takes a sinister tone in practice. The WEF's eight predictions of the world in 2030 published before any of this COVID stuff happened are as follows. And make no mistake, these are predictions, predictions, quote, air quote, because they intend to make them happen. Number one, you'll own nothing and be happy. Whatever you want, you'll rent and it'll be delivered by drone. You don't even have to leave your house. Number two, the US won't be the leading superpower. A handful of countries will dominate. So they will push for the fall of America. Our country will suffer, which you're seeing happen as we speak. Number three, you won't die waiting for an organ donor because there won't be organ transplants because they'll be printed. Subtext, what they're not saying is we'll probably have artificial wombs being commonplace by then too for our slave society, but if you want an organ, you better, <laughs> you better not be talking smack about the WF on Twitter or have a good social credit score or whatever. Anyway, number four, you'll eat, as, you'll eat much less meat because the WF says that meat farming isn't good for the environment and it's bad for our health. Number five, a billion people will be displaced by climate change. So there's gonna be a ton of refugees invading your country and your hometowns. By the way, just see how well that's going for Europe. Guarantee no refugees go to Israel. 
Number six, polluters will have to pay to emit carbon dioxide, eliminating fossil fuels. Number seven, you could be preparing to go to Mars, which is funny because we can't even go back to the moon if we even went in the first place. But don't worry, scientists will have worked out how to keep you healthy in space, even though all they do is poison us here on Earth through our food, water, and air. Then at the very end, the WF hints at aliens, which who I think, I mean, some of us might pay to abduct us at this point to escape this prison planet. Number eight, Western values will have been tested to a breaking point. Checks and balances that underpin our democracies must not be forgotten. It's giving diversity, it's giving cholergy. Am I allowed to say that on here? I'm not sure, but anyway, that concludes our predictions. So Charles has signed on to all these predictions and he's gonna make sure they're fulfilled. This old cuss marked the launch of it. Like I said at the beginning, the Queen's funeral is projected to be the most televised and watched event in all of human history. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like an opportunity to me from all the people who gave Jimmy Savile keys to the psychiatric children's hospitals. So be careful what you watch, what you listen to, what you believe, what you see. And as far as King Charles number three is concerned, what the media won't tell you is that he's not a good guy. He's not someone you want influencing global policy. He's not someone you want to be paying taxes to. Heck, I'd lock up my children if he were around. The company he keeps is a direct reflection of his character. And his side piece is the queen consort. Gross. Someone better start dumping tea into a harbor or something. Brits, it's your turn. We've already got enough to deal with over here. We wish there was tea in our water. It's undrinkable in like a dozen states at the moment. The more you research, the more you learn about these creatures, the more you reject whatever they're pushing, the less consent you give them, the less power they have. And that's what the media won't tell you about King Charles III. What do you think, internet friends? You know, I always look forward to your comments. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and supporting my channel on Patreon. Bye. Hey, internet friends, if you haven't already, watch what the media won't tell you about King Charles III. Part 1